Right. Uh, thank you, Matala, for that question. Uh, I'm going to move. We seem to the rapid fire questions. So it's a. It's a it's I, I thought these were the rapid fire questions. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, these are five second ones. They're a bit on a personal basis. All right. Okay. Ready? okay. Go. And Rita's going to give us a timer for, for both of us. So pro professionally, was COVID, COVID a blessing or a curse? I think both. So, so it was both. It, 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 it's a it's a curse from the the impact that it had, but it's a blessing when it came to the the, the accelerated growth of online ordering, especially in groceries. Personally, COVID blessing or a curse? Personally, uh, no. I say it was a it was a curse. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I I stayed in a country that had the most aggressive lockdown ever, which is Kuwait. So so they took it very seriously and they really locked down the country. Massively, so so I had to stay two years. Didn't see my family, uh, so it was a bit on a personal level, uh, a bit stressful. If you could rebuild uh, the operational aspect, uh, what is one thing you do differently? Because you know, Talabat has been building over many years, right? So uh, if you have a greenfield operation, you, you can you can you can you can build it ideally. So what is what is one thing that you, you would do differently? I would say, I'd like to talk here about the Q-commerce. So I would say is I would have built for hundreds of stores from the start, okay. which is which is expedite our, our, our implementation much faster than what we did. We took it a bit slow at the beginning. COVID hit, we had to expedite massively. So I would say think big and build big from the start if you believe in it. What do your friends, parents, grandparents think you do at Talabat? I'll, I'll let you. I'll let you. I'll, I'll tell you what my kids think. I do on Talabat. So my kids think they own Talabat. So they have it on. The, they order. But Baba, you're Talabat. I am okay, but I also pay for the food at Talabat. So there's things for them. I own Talabat, so it's free food, and I pay. I entered in college for two months at a telecom operator, and I have my friend's mom. I still see them now. You know, I'm married, two kids later. I have my own business. They say, oh, yes, yes. Uh, Tant, I have this problem with my phone. You work with the telecom thing. Can you help me fix it? And that was <laughs> eight weeks when I was like, 21. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's a bit of a challenge, especially that I was DMD. So they used to come to our town halls, et cetera. They said, OK, so it's his company. So yeah, it's a bit of a challenge. And not to mention, as you mentioned, I have my, my friends and customers call me. My order is late. I tell them, what do you want me to do? You want to come and deliver it for you? So I have to go through, uh, you know, getting contact center to, to approach them. Yeah, so it's a bit of a, you become their, their customer care agent. When you were in college, what do you think you were going to do when you graduated? That's going to be a bit of a surprise maybe for many, a doctor. So I actually started my pre-med. Yeah, I actually started my pre-med. But then... Uh, it's a bit of a, of a personal story, but then I uh, I met the person I want to partner with, and I said, you know what, it's going to be too long to become a doctor, and I want to get married sooner. So I uh, I shifted my career, and I did computer science, then did my MBA. Did you share that story during your wedding? Uh, no, she knows it. <laughs> I mean, it, it's been a great wedding story. Well, Sim, yeah, yeah. thank you very much for your input and your openness about the operation execution. That's something that I always want to look at. The problems of building a business because that's that's all i do i look at what are business problems to fix uh, thank you for that uh andreas has a question that that he just asked it's just uh, let's squeeze it in he's asking about can you go greener with delivery uh, is there a plan for that uh, plastic cutlery e-bikes and things like this that's i know that's not straightforward because you're looking at at, at the massive scale so yeah, yeah. So, so we started down that line. So now in Talabat, when you order, you can select I want or I don't want cutlery, and we make it very visible to the to the restaurant when they're preparing the order. Don't send cutlery, send cut or cutlery one. Second, recently we started uh, delivery with bikes, bicycles, uh, and I think maybe in Dubai Marina we started electrical uh, vehicles there. So the challenge with this is the weather in GCC doesn't really help, but we do have as part of delivery hero global uh, push how do we move towards zero commission uh, zero uh, emissions sorry <laughs> not commissions <laughs> don't record that <laughs> zero, 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 zero emissions uh, and we're working towards that and we do a lot of collaborations with the ministry of environment etc on how do we drive that even with partners on using recyclable products uh, etc uh, thank you, Andres, for your question. Wasim, uh, thank you for uh, for your openness and the details that we're discussing together and the, the operational problems. 
thank, thank you for joining us today. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Ayman. Thank you and have a great day. Thanks. Thank you.